Have you ever wanted to fight against hordes of infected zombies in the post-apocalypse? Well, today you're in luck. We're going to be looking at They Are Billions, an independently published game by Numantian Games in 2019. Available for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC, They Are Billions is a pausable, yes, pausable, real-time strategy game where you're tasked with building and expanding Emperor Quintus's empire while fending off hordes of infected zombies on a square grid layout. The game features several different game modes, including a full campaign with three totally different mission styles, tens of thousands of individually AI-controlled enemy units on screen at the same time, city building, technology research, resource management, and much, much more. This is a single-player game, but with a leadership board for the available weekly challenge. System requirements are very light, and most any PC with a dual-core or faster CPU can run this one. As always, check the video description for more detail. Let's look at the main aspects of the game and start by breaking down the campaign mode. Once you've completed the introductory mission, you'll be presented with several mission options, with some being completely optional. And as you progress, the world map will expand, presenting you with further options to pick from. Upon completing missions, you'll receive research points to spend on over 90 technologies spanning 18 progressive tiers. You'll unlock new units, buildings and structures, strengthen existing defensive fortifications and invent new ways to grow your colonies and eliminate the infected. The campaign play offers up three distinct mission types. Attack missions are horde defense scenarios with a fixed number of inbound zombies. You'll spend empire points to spend on both defensive barriers and units. Points which are earned for completing regular missions and collecting items of interest during tactical missions. Here you'll need to strategically place defenses to best slow, contain, and eliminate the oncoming horde. Choose a hero character selected at the start of the campaign. There are two available, either Kalis or Calliope, each with their own traits and unlockable perks. Tactical missions are a more intimate experience, foregoing any base building mechanics. Here your chosen hero will infiltrate and investigate facilities and complete specific tasks while also facing down zombies up close and personal. Regular missions start by presenting victory conditions such as day limits, eliminating all zombies and reaching a specific colonist count. Here's where you build your colony from the ground up. You build buildings such as dwellings, farms and power facilities train units such as rangers, soldiers, and snipers, you'll be constructing defensive structures such as walls, towers, and ballista. While building and overseeing the colony, you'll also have to manage your resources. You'll need housing to attract new settlers, find, grow, and harvest food to feed your colonists, provide electricity to power your facilities and expand your reach. You'll also need wood, stone, and other raw materials to build and better your colony. Next up, we have survival mode, and this is really where the early access game kicked off in 2017. Here you'll select the zombie population and game duration, and then survive wave after wave, building your colony and warding off the hordes, similar to the regular missions in the campaign. The weekly challenge plays identically to the survival mode, but allows players to compete against one another for a ranking on the leaderboard using the exact same map and scenario. And last but not least, the game has a custom level option. Here you can access further content with full Steam Workshop integration, greatly expanding replayability and helping to truly take this game to the next level. Let's take a moment to talk about the star of the show, Zombies. Zombies have been infected with a mutated strain of rabies and range from older, slow and weak, fresh and strong, very fast harpies to enormous giants and mutants. The AI here allows for them to hear, see, and even smell you. The zombies will not only come one at a time, but in hordes of many thousands. The disease spreads like wildfire, so keep your eyes peeled as it only takes one zombie to get into one of your buildings and potentially raise the entire colony. The graphics are simple yet very detailed at the same time, and animations are much of the same. The cutscenes are mostly of the animated phototype and fit the whole not taking itself too seriously vibe that the game has going on. Sound effects are clear and well done, although a little repetitive. Music is also very good and fits the theme of the game pretty well. Ambient noises are fantastic and really help build up the atmosphere the game offers. Voice acting is okay and full of many quips, sarcasm and commentary from the units. You are gonna pay me for this, right? It's both cheesy and fun. The story behind this post-pandemic apocalypse is slowly told as you play through the campaign through various interactions with the Emperor, news articles, and other bits of information throughout. It's interesting, but not particularly deep by any means. Gameplay is where I feel this game shines brightest. 
You can control the game from a mouse alone if you choose, or use the keyboard shortcuts to speed things along at a faster pace. I found it to be a lot of fun and genuinely addictive. It's also quite challenging. Missions can be somewhat predictable in how they progress, but playing any mission at even the default difficulty level can be quite tricky. Expect to fail a few missions and then taking what you learned and applying it on the next run. And if that poses too much trouble, thankfully, you can change the level of difficulty before starting a mission, which lowers or raises the number of zombies you face substantially. Although this is a real-time strategy game, you're able to pause the action to properly plan, build and organize your colony, forces and defenses, allowing you to focus on tasks rather than reflexes. The campaign is slated to take some 60 hours, and you better believe it will take at least that long. The game plays at a bit of a slow, meandering pace, and could use a little bit of an uplift in pacing, but it also proves very relaxing with the selection of music. Additionally, with survival and weekly challenges as well as the custom mode, which includes full Steam Workshop integration, there's nearly unlimited replay value here. They Are Billions is a game that doesn't take itself too seriously, a bit of satire, poking fun at the genre, and having a blast while doing it. I really enjoyed the game and found myself staying up late more than once trying to complete just one more mission before calling it a night. If you like games outside of the norm, real-time strategy, or just slaying zombies, give this one a go. Grab it on sale and you get a hell of a lot for your money.